What's going on guys, Stabs here and welcome back uh, to another one of my videos. Uh, this is going to be episode number or quattro of uh, Ask Stabs, where you guys get to ask me any questions you guys want me uh, to know about me, uh, things like that. Um, I don't usually do this too often, so when they do, uh, are, um, I try and get as much questions as possible. And um, if you guys want to ask me questions, um, next time I do a Q&A, um, I'll announce it on, e on Twitter and Instagram so you guys can ask me questions there, link to them are in my bio but without further ado let's get into the questions uh just another thing actually before i start the video um it right now it's friday uh friday night and uh, i was actually i was trying to get this video uploaded today so if it's not um then i'll try and upload it saturday uh but um i have a football game to go to and it'll probably take me a pretty long time to actually upload this video and uh edit it and render it so I, I have to leave in about half an hour so I'm just trying to get this over with and um, I'll edit it when I get home so if it's not uploaded today I'm sorry but uh, definitely expect an upload tomorrow 100% all right so the first question comes from genius 333 and he asks what's the best cod map ever and right when he said this the first map that I possibly could think of is rust from mw2 now um, in modern warfare 2 I didn't really do too much competitive call of Duty. I had no idea what it was but um, I did a lot of trick shotting and that map was absolutely perfect for that and whenever you had problems with people or oh, your trash and things like that you go 1v1 I'm on that map and your problems are solved my friend Braden46 asks how long have you been playing COD and how has it changed your life now uh, I've been playing Call of Duty uh, since Modern Warfare 2 that was the first Call of Duty I actually ever bought and uh, it has it changed my life uh, probably because I don't really go out much um, not really because this is what I do all day, but uh, I just there's nothing really to do in my town except Friday nights where I play football. And uh, when I actually do play football during the season, which I'm not this season, that's not really confusing. But um, I don't really do much except play Xbox and uh, play football when it's actually season. And um, even off season, I usually work out and things like that. But how has it changed my life? Uh, probably because uh, I'd probably be going out more. Um, things like that. Uh, I'd probably hang out with friends a lot, but um, it's not really an issue to me. That guy with a phone asked, do you love me? Of course I love you, man. Rick Gutierrez asks, if you were to own any pro MLG team, what team would it be and why? Now, the top two teams that I would probably get would be Optic and FaZe for three reasons. Uh, first off, um, they probably get have the most uh, financial stuff. Uh, they probably make the most money at any other team. Uh, second reason is their fan base is absolutely insane. They probably have the they have the two biggest fan bases out of any other COD esports team. And third is currently they are the top two best teams in Advanced Warfare. I don't know how it's gonna be like in Black Ops 3, but uh, even if they're not the top two or top whatever, um, you still have the two other reasons to uh, have a reason to pick them. So definitely Optic and Fade. Unicorn Lazy Nessa asks, Do you have a crush? No. Alright, so your last two and final questions are going to be from Twitter. Um, and King Coco asks, Are you going to switch over to PS4 when Black Ops 3 comes out? And that's actually a pretty good question because I don't really know yet. Um, depending on how much money I actually have saved up when it actually comes out. Um, it definitely won't be until the first half of probably Black Ops 3 or... Um, even if that doesn't happen, then it's going to be uh, whatever game comes after Black Ops 3 if uh, competitive Call of Duty is still on PlayStation 4. So uh, hopefully it does stay on Xbox One. I know you guys probably don't like Xbox One, but um, it'll just be such a hassle to actually try and buy every, all new stuff. And I just, I really don't have the money. Alright, so MLG Fakey asked, last question by the way. He asked, what motivated you to start YouTube and what did your parents think when they found out that you are doing YouTube? Um, well, the thing that motivated me was that, um, I used to watch people, trick shotters and things like that, they used to upload YouTube videos, and I thought it was a cool thing because people actually watched them. And so, that's where I got the idea of, uh, actually trying to start my own channel, and, um, I'm, pr when did I, I'm pretty sure I started this channel in Black Ops 2, and, um, that's where the whole, like, trick shotting and thing era, because Black Ops 2 was such a great game, um, that's when it all kind of started. And, um, what my parents think about it, um, I don't really think they honestly know. Uh, I mean, obviously my dad knows that I upload, uh, videos and things like that. 
but um, I don't know if he knows how many subscribers and things like that that I have. But um, I don't know. I don't really think he seems to mind that much. Just that um, when I do play a lot, that really pisses them off. All right. Well, that's it, guys, for this episode of Ask Stabs, uh, episode number four. Uh, if you guys have any more questions, uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and um, keep checking it. I usually have one of these a couple uh, every weeks, so uh, just watch for the post. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like, subscribe, follow my social media links down in the description below. Follow me on Twitch, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.